Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is nail foil transfer gels and how to apply them using a gel transfer foil glue. Hopefully that makes sense. I'll be using Foilmate. It's absolutely amazing for applying nail foils and transfer foils to the nail with ease. And this is a perfect guide for beginners as well. So I'm just showing you the foil and then we'll get into it. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Back, back. So as I said, I'm going to be showing you how to apply foils to the nail in a full coverage. Often people like to apply foils randomly and sporadically for abstract designs, but there's also times where you want to transfer the full image and why not when they look as beautiful as this. So this foil set is a 10 piece foil set and I do apologize about that. <laughs> and it does have 10 lace designs in the in the in the full set there's five white and five black and they are just absolutely stunning so i'm showing you here that there are two sides to the foil and you need to make sure that you are putting the um kind of dull side down onto the nail because the shiny side is going to be the top of the foil and you won't get any image transfer so if you're finding that none of your image is transferring then just swap it around to the other side and that's probably where you are going wrong so i use foil mate transfer gel for my foil transfers and it works absolutely amazingly it's so easy to use. So I've got my pop stick at the ready. I'm not gonna put any color underneath or anything like that, but of course you can if you like. And I'm just gonna come in with the transfer foil gel and apply a nice even layer. I'm making sure that I apply plenty, but then remove any excess because you don't want it pooling or being too thick in certain areas. I went ahead and I cured that in the light for a full 60 seconds and then I left it to air dry for a further 60 seconds whilst I prepared my foil and got everything ready and then I'm coming in with my foil and I'm pressing that onto the nail. I just gently let it sit on the nail and then I come in and rub and press and make sure that I'm getting all of the areas. Now. What you want to do when you're taking the foil off is remove it slowly. So on this one, I remove it quite, I wouldn't say quickly, but um, I didn't kind of see the bits that were not coming off. I hope that makes sense. It's only a very, very tiny amount, but you can resolve that by removing it slowly and seeing it and then rubbing further. Another tip is to use a silicone tool or a cuticle pusher to push the foil onto the nail and get a full transfer. But look at that with just little effort. It looks absolutely stunning and perfect for like the Halloween designs coming up, autumn, fall, like Valentine's and the white lace will be perfect for weddings over a nude. Like, can you imagine that? Literally beautiful. So anyway, to seal the foil gels and the foil transfers after applying them, you wanna make sure that you do use a gel top coat and apply that generously to the entire nail and securing the side walls as well. Obviously all of this on a client isn't going to be side walls unless they have super long nails but you do want to make sure that you go on the side walls and the free edge to kind of um cap that and make sure it's all going to last but yeah this is how the black one turned out and i absolutely love it i can't wait to do it in a full set and even wear it on my nails i just think it's so so pretty oh can we just side note look at my background we have these available in the, on the website now in three different styles and they are just super fun and perfect of course for backgrounds i love them so much i'll link them down below if you are interested in those as well so yeah i decided i'm gonna do a white foil lace transfer as well just to make sure that you know you've seen some of both from the black and the white side to get, to get an idea of how they turn out on the nail um i mean i was 
years and years ago actually encapsulating real lace it works for the black although it is extremely difficult to do because as you can imagine lace isn't the most easiest fabric to work with um but you can still see it with the black i did it with the white and it completely disappeared it was barely visible and practically pointless for the effort that i put in so having the white foils now in the lace design i think is just perfect and the effect that you can get from it is unreal um, as you guys are going to see very very shortly so i'm following the same process we're going to apply our foil mate transfer gel to the nail of course if you are working on a client you will want to have prepped the nails applied your base coat and all of that good stuff um, you don't want to apply the foil mate onto a tacky layer so if you are um, having a tacky layer you want to remove that and then buff the nail so that it's matte treat it as though you're applying stamping nail art um, or if you're coming in with some crystals or something like that you want the nail to be matte before you apply it you're then going to go in apply the foil gel cure it for that full 60 seconds and then let it air dry that's what's going to give it the tackiness and then coming in now as you can see with the white transfer foil and i'm so excited i'm excited to share this because i think this on short nails is gonna be absolutely stunning i mean you guys i hope have watched my last um short nail set i mean the real short short is with the gel um imagine those in a nude with some champagne glitter and white lace like could it get any better especially if you are a bride or you know just want something elegant and fun and really super super fancy i think it's absolutely perfect but yeah this is how the white one turned out of course i'm going to top coat that as well and cure it in the light and then i'll show you both side by side but that is pretty much it i just wanted to run through and show the lace foil set and the foil mate and how fabulous it is at transferring those designs with very little ease you have to remember as well these long pop sticks have got a very kind of arched i wouldn't even call it an apex because it's really not that i think they are intended to be filled on the inside and not worked on top of i hope that makes sense and um, so they are very curved so the fact that the image is transferred so well without any kind of what's the word defects um i think it's just fabulous but yeah i'm gonna seal that in with super gloss and then show the two side by side i hope you've enjoyed this little video if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it it really helps me out um and comment down below if you enjoyed this and if you think these lace foils are fun and fabulous i mean i absolutely adore them i think they look amazing i mean look at that so pretty So this is how they look side by side this is only two of the foils there are five different black ones and five different white ones so there's so much to choose from and you get so many of each it will last you literally for ages considering the amount that you use of course depending on the nail length um but yeah absolutely love how these turned out if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and as always please remember that you are bomb.com let us fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and i love you Mwah. bye also don't forget that the glitter planet september mystery box is live it's absolutely amazing this time around and you guys are gonna love it i'll link it down below if you want to check it out bye